Hello everyone, it's Waifu Belector, and I'd like to take a moment of your time to talk about the new Halo TV series on Paramount Plus. More specifically, what the fuck is going on with this Halo show? <laughs> I do realize that uh, that wasn't technically more specific, but I'll continue anyway. So. Let's dive right in, but I do want to mention the B-roll for this video will just be looped trailer content because I have no idea if I'm allowed to show anything else, lest the Paramount Mountain be heaved upon me. But anyway, yeah, the Halo show. This thing is weird, right? <laughs> it's, it's weird. It's not even that the show is outright horrible. I mean, I feel like it would be a stretch to call it good either though. Maybe a stretch and a half. <laughs> it's more firmly placed in the okay section, you know? And we are only three episodes in. However, I didn't even want to talk about the show until I felt like I understood what they were trying to do in terms of the tone and where the show is ultimately trying to take us. And since I'm here, I clearly feel as though I do understand that. Now, like I said, the show is okay. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> it's not 100% hot garbage. You didn't completely butcher our boy, right? Only you kind of did. Even without the show being a horrible pile of shit just yet, you still managed to butcher our boy. <laughs> the show is not Halo. This show is not Halo. It is called Halo. There is a man named John in Mjolnir armor running around and he is not Master Chief. People sometimes in the show call him Master Chief. He is not. <laughs> At the beginning of every episode, they say, previously on Halo. I'm here to tell you, this is not Halo. <laughs> I'm not here to say how bad or good the show is, only that it isn't Halo. The show is, su is such a far cry tonally from what Halo has built itself into over the past 20 or so odd years. It completely dumps the heavy action-centric focus in exchange for some not-so-compelling space drama. And it really hurts. I... I do not care for it. <laughs> Our main hero, Master Chief, who we know and love, behaves like Master Chief for about 15 to 20 minutes across the entirety of the current three hour-long episodes. And... 20 minutes may be generous, honestly. What I'm about to say isn't really a huge spoiler if you ask me, but spoilers, spoilers, spoilers if you haven't seen it, okay? All right, here we go. Chief takes his helmet off, revealing his face to us near the end of the first episode. I didn't like that. <laughs> but at that point, I was just like, okay, it's fine. Let's see where they're going, right? This wasn't just some face reveal and move on, though. He then goes on to have his helmet completely removed, naked-ass face laid bare for all to see for the entire next two episodes. <laughs> like, what? He's really just walking around like, fucking soldier john every man it's so fucking wild <laughs> oh 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 you know what wait wait i'm a liar i'm a liar there were about 15 seconds near the beginning of episode two where he had his helmet on so clap it up for a uh, cast and crew uh you know look at me a filthy liar lying on the good names of the folks at paramount you know, tell the truth, waifu collector, right? Tell the fucking truth. Give credit where credit is due. How could I not show love to the 15 seconds of screen time where the protagonist appeared to be himself? I am 
smoking the glass dick, right? You know, your Emmy is in the mail, Paramount. But yeah, no. Uh, this was not their only affront. We all saw how Cortana looked in the trailers, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that. But uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't even like the way she's acting. Her behavior is so much less likable so far to me. And the dynamic between her and Chief is just garbage. It's complete garbage. Chief's acting all pouty. He's running around like, Oh, Harum, fight him, but I don't want an AI companion. Huff, huff, puff, oh, blah, blah. And, and the way they're priming this to be like a classic friend betrayal TV scene. <laughs> so trash. Because Halsey has Cortana pretending to be his friend. And they're teeing up some of the most aggressively predictable and unoriginal TV movie bullshit that they possibly can. And I can only hope that this does not pan out the way I'm knowing it will. <laughs> I can literally uh, see, I can see it already. I can already see it. Chief's gonna be like, what? You've been working for Halsey this whole time? We were supposed to be partners, I trusted you. <laughs> and then Cortana's gonna be like, Chief, you don't understand. I, I had no choice. It was, but she's going to cut her off. Like, I don't want to hear it because, you know, no one's allowed to explain themselves or misunderstandings on TV, right? <laughs> that will truly be awful if and when it happens. But yeah, Cortana's also 12 foot nine as well. <laughs> Why is she so big? But all right. And Chief uh, yells at people, right? Yes, Chief yells strange but yeah chief yells at people and displays uncharacteristic fits of rage you know he's like you know telling cortana to go away he's like i said wait it's like what the, what the fuck when has chief ever i don't know whatever the world in the in this show comes off far more generic than the like expansive feel that the lore that the lore of the halo franchise actually cultivates which is very unfortunate you know this human antagonist thing they're doing isn't compelling and it seems to really step on the more intriguing political inner working aspects of the covenant and whatnot you know in favor of i don't even know what predictability and you know, just generic, boring. Yeah, I don't know, man. It just isn't Halo, okay? It isn't Halo. That's it. You can feel how you want about the show. It's the most captivating, ingeniously well written emotional action roller coaster and deserves every award imaginable. Cool. It still isn't Halo, all right? <laughs> it just isn't Halo. Like, this isn't just a take on Halo, this isn't some take. Like, this is, like, I, I'm all for ta having a take on Halo. It just, it deviates so far that it's not Halo anymore. It can be as good of a show as it wants to be. It's, it, it just isn't Halo, you know? Hopefully that changes, but I don't, I, I seriously doubt it, bro. I see the direction they're going. That's not going to happen. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I felt like talking about this, so I did. Uh, what do you think? Have you seen the show? Do you want to see the show? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Would you date it or berate it? <laughs> if you feel like it, let me know how you feel and what you think. I really do want to know, but either way, I have been Waifu Belector. I think you are an awesome person who deserves the peace and love that I wish upon you. And if you don't remember anything I say here, just remember that you should go out and get you some maidens. Okay.